The Lord has led you into a land flowing with milk and honey, that the law of the Lord may always be upon your lips. Alleluia. This Holy Mass is being offered for Francis and Pauline Lucos, the anniversary, that's the parents of Christopher and, and, and his brothers. So we pray for the repose of their souls. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven and addressed the crowd in a loud voice. Men of Israel, listen to what I am going to say. Jesus, the Nazarene, was the man com sorry, um, commended to you by God, by the miracles and portents and signs that God worked through him when he was among you. As you all know, this man who was put into your power by the deliberate intention and foreknowledge of God, you took and crucified by men outside the law. You killed him, but God raised him to life, freeing him from the pangs of Hades, for it was impossible for him to be held in its power since, as David says of him, I saw the Lord before me always, for with him at my right hand nothing can shake me. So my heart was glad, and my tongue cried out with joy. My body too will rest in the hope that you will not abandon my soul to Hades, nor allow your Holy One to experience corruption. You have made known the way of life to me, you will fill me with the gladness through your presence. Brothers, no one can deny that the patriarch David himself is dead and buried. His tomb is still with us. But since he was a prophet and knew that God has sworn him an oath to make one of his descendants succeed him on the throne, what he foresaw and spoke about 
was the resurrection of Christ. He is one who was not abandoned to Hades, and whose body did not experience corruption. God raised this man, Jesus, to life, and all of us are witnesses to that. Now, raised to the heights by God's right hand, he has received from the Father the Holy Spirit. He was promised, and what you see and hear is the outpouring of that Spirit. The word of the Lord. Preserve me, Lord, I take refuge in you. Preserve me, God, I take refuge in you. I say to the Lord, you are my God. O Lord, it is you who are my portion and cup. It is you who, it is you yourself who are my prize. I will bless the Lord who gives me counsel, who at, even at night directs my heart. I keep the Lord ever in my sight. Since he is at my right hand, I shall stand firm. And so my heart rejoices. My soul is glad. Even my body shall rest in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead, nor let your beloved know decay. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence. At your right hand, happiness forever. This day was made by the Lord, we rejoice and are glad. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to to Matthew. Filled with awe and great joy, the women came quickly away from the tomb and ran to tell the disciples. And there, coming to meet them, was Jesus. Greetings, he said. And the women came up to him and, falling down before him, clasped his feet. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and Tell my brothers that they must leave for Galilee. They will see me there. While they were on their way, some of the guard went off into the city to tell the chief priests all that had happened. These held a meeting with the elders and, after some discussion, handed a considerable sum of money to the soldiers with these instructions. This is what you must say. His disciples came during the night and stole him away while we were asleep. And should the governor come to hear of this, we undertake to put things right with him ourselves and to see that you do not get into trouble. The soldiers took the money and carried out their instructions, and to this day that is the story among the Jews. The Gospel of the Lord. The (coughs) Easter octave, those days between Easter Sunday and the second Sunday of Easter, low Sunday, next Sunday, the Easter octave is very much a continuation of the celebration, the solemn and joyful celebration of the resurrection. And in the first reading this morning, from the Acts of the Apostles, we hear Peter on the day of Pentecost standing up with the eleven and addressing the crowd, telling them, teaching them about the death and the resurrection of Christ. 
And this, of course, is in stark contrast to what we heard during Holy Week. Peter, who denies Jesus three times. We know that our Lord is not only forgiven, forgiving Peter, but we also know that he gives Peter that special task. Peter, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? The three denials are balanced by the three declarations of Peter in St. John's Gospel. This is of the faith and trust, the affirmation, the belief in Jesus. And we, therefore, in this octave of Easter, as we continue to celebrate most intensely the joy of the resurrection, everything that we hear in the scriptures is both a looking back to the event of the resurrection and a looking forward to Christ in glory. Because the resurrection, wonderful and essential as it is, is also an opening into not only the new life, the risen life of Jesus, but the new life of grace, the life of baptism, which we share as followers of Christ. And the resurrection now leads to the 40 days of the appearances of the risen Jesus. And then that will be fulfilled in his glorious ascension, his return to the Father. In the Gospel this morning, which is from St. Matthew, the very end, chapter 28 of St. Matthew's Gospel, we have the women who come joyfully away from the tomb, running to tell the disciples that the tomb is empty. Jesus appears to them. He greets them. And the women recognize him. Jesus says, do not be afraid. Be not fearful. Go and tell my brothers that they must leave for Galilee, for they will see me there. And that phrase, that Galilee, is not simply the geographical area, the Sea of Galilee and so on, not only the geographical area where Jesus comes from, where he grew up, where he lived, but the Galilee is the whole of the world. They must leave for Galilee. They will see, see me there. So the Galilee that Jesus is walking to today is East Ham and everywhere else because it is the same risen Christ who is present in and to his church and that same risen Christ that we with joy must bring to others. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us stand and pray for the Church, the Pope, the bishops, and all God's people, that in this Easter season we may be filled with the joy of the resurrection. Lord, hear us. We pray particularly today for Father Bob, that God will give him rest after all the busyness and the exertion all the celebrations of Holy Week and Easter. Lord, in your mercy. We pray.
pray for the living and the dead. We remember Christopher's parents for whom this Mass is being offered. And we pray that each one of us may, with joy, bring the resurrection of Jesus to those around us. Lord, hear us. And we bring all these prayers and petitions, spoken and unspoken, to the intercession of Our Lady. And we'll sing Our Lady's Easter song, number 616, the Regina Celi. Regina Celi, Letare, Alleluia, Quia, Quemero Isti Portare, Alleluia. Resurrexit, sicut dixit, Alleluia, ora pro nobis Deum, Alleluia. O Queen of Heaven, rejoice, Alleluia, for he whom you were worthy to bear, Alleluia, has risen as he said, Alleluia, pray for us to God, Alleluia. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that, renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ. Our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, for Zanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. Mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Michael, the Archangel, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that, by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. 
since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just to remind you that uh, the Mass times return uh, to normal as tomorrow, uh, from tomorrow, Tuesday, so 8.45, uh, uh, the morning prayer, 9 o'clock Mass, and followed by the rosary and exposition. There will be the church cleaning on Wednesday, but just to thank those, the after, well, all the services of Holy Week, particularly three Easter vigils, the church was in a bit of a state, particularly the carpets, but they are immaculate now, so it's great that uh, people responded so well um, since yesterday particularly to help clean. So thank you very much. I know Father Bob is appreciative of that. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ, alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be 